Hello there everybody, I'm Xero, back with another LEGO related video, and today we are taking a look at a Hulkbuster. This is the Hulkbuster Smash, not the Hulkbuster Smash Up, that's from the Infinity War line, this is from the Age of Ultron line. This uh, came out in 2015 for the price of $30. Now you're considered lucky if you find it for $50, because usually it goes for $60 on eBay, but yeah, I got mine for $50, so I am considered lucky, but still, that's a lot. But uh, let's just start, I guess, with the Hulkbuster, the main build of the set. So, normally I would do a comparison right now with the new Hulkbuster and the old one, or after I take a look at it, but that will probably be a separate video, just because I don't have that Hulkbuster right now. But, uh, let's get into this. So, the feet, I think, look pretty good. You know, kind of stubby, but I guess that's pretty accurate. Uh, originally, I really liked the Infinity War one, and I thought it was way better, but now having this in person, I'm kind of changing my mind. So, I'm going to have to build the Infinity War one back up. I just moved, which is why the video will be a bit sloppy, edit, which is why I don't have that set built up. But, yeah, this, I think, actually looks pretty good. It has those uh, two little thruster kind of... Um, suggestions of thrusters down there so it could fly a little bit and then uh continuing on with the thruster theme under the fingers which both hands do have fingers they do have the thrusters right there as well and um okay so he's got a gun right here or the hope buster you shoot on those and they come out they're actually built up and there's one official spare included in the set and then yeah i think that the arms look pretty good you could get I'm going to call this knees, even though it's more like an ankle, but knee articulation. So the articulation on this one is phenomenal. And then, you know, the hands have articulation and all that. You could get a lot of really nice poses out of this, I believe, in my opinion. And, oh my god, and <laughs> that piece just fell off when I'm talking about how good this build is. But anyway, that was my fault. You know, it is Lego, so it does have limitations. But um, it has that nice printed piece, but I really like this. Uh, well, I'll take a look at the inside, which was the thing I was referring to back then, right then, but, uh, let's take a look at the back first. Yeah, it doesn't look as good, but it's okay, and I love those translucent kind of arms, but here's how you can get a figure in there. I already have Iron Man in there, so these flip out, this opens, and then this comes down, and then there's Iron Man, but removing him, that's the space in there, but I really like this, so see the two bricks? When you put that on... They, um, connect there, oh, if I can get it right, just like that. So that looks good, because now it's all, you know, everything's connected, and then you bring these in, and then you bring that in. It feels like a lot more bulk than the Infinity War one, which, in my opinion, is a bit sleeker. So I definitely like how this came out. Like, I don't know, I just think that it looks super good. Again, sorry about the bad lighting, I just, um, moved again. But, yeah, I just really like this build. And then there's this build. Yeah, it's a side build. Again, that's why this set is so good. But, like, look at this. So, basically, uh, it's supposed to use a super jumper, which I wouldn't recommend. They da do damage lights, but that's how they work, you know. Uh, it's intended to put Iron Man here, and then he jumps and knocks Scarlet Witch down. Uh, and then that allows the Hulk to kind of break out of here because the Scarlet Witch was holding him. So, here's something that I don't understand. Like, that whole play feature, I think, is pretty nice, but... Like, I thought that, at first, I thought Lego was confused, and they thought Scarlet Witch was gonna hold the Hulk there. Like, she was bad at first, but she wasn't gonna hold the Hulk there, but I think Lego kinda knew that Iron Man built this, because it says Stark Industries, which those are done by stickers, and those are nice pieces. So, maybe Lego just took creative liberty and added that in there. Don't know, but this is still a really nice side build. It's just pretty sizable, and it works as a pretty nice prison cell, and it adds, I think, a lot more play value for just the small number of pieces that are here <sighs> because we talked about the hulk here he is and oh my god talking about um him in a, coming in a 30 dollar set is amazing anyway they fixed the color from the original vendor sets if you guys remember that it's this nice kind of olive green he has the same articulation these turn they can hold a figure by the legs these turn i lo i like the abs right there and then He's got this nice back. Too bad the hair piece isn't removable, but that's because it's super low. So it's just made into the mold. He has the angry expression, unlike the Avengers HQ. He has toe printing and then these nice kind of um, purple shorts. And they have the Avengers logo right there. And I believe... Oh, no, it's not there. But yeah, this is a great big thing, you know, to get. Uh, there's not really too much visually to see, but, you know, it's the Hulk. Like, you're going to play with the Hulk. 
continuing to look at the good guys. This is Iron Man Mike 42 or 43. They were both in Age of Ultron. I forget which one. I believe this one is 42. No, no, sorry. I think that... Yeah, this is, I think... I don't know. This Hulkbuster is Mike 44. I know that, but... This is 42 or 43 or 45. Okay, I'm getting confused. It's on the box. But anyway, let's look at him regardless of the mark. That helmet is pretty nice. It has a lot of that printing. And then look at that leg printing down in there. And then that torso print. And then that back torso print. Like, Lego nails these Iron Mans. And then there's that face print. And then that more angry expression. Again, they didn't print the heads up display until Infinity War. So, Lego always nails these Iron Mans. And they... Always have, so I really like how this figure came out, and again, I just love the printing on him. Here is Scarlet Witch, and oh my god, her accessories are so inaccurate. They're blue, so that's really weird. And I forgot to mention, though, for some reason, my Iron Man arms are stiff. You might say because it's an old set, but relatively old, I mean, but, you know, Scarlet Witch's aren't, and neither is Ultron's. But anyway, she just uses black legs, but the printing is pretty good. Sure, the skid toad is a bit bad, but, you know, ah, it's believable. And got that nice skirt piece, and then I really like the torso print on this, and I'm fine if it's, you know, gender-specific with those curves right there, but I don't know, I just really like the torso print and how it looks. Again, the skin tone is a bit messed up. That's a nice face print to add here for when she turns into a good guy, but yeah. The hair piece, I don't know if it completely fits, but hey, it's my first Scarlet Witch. Here is the main bad guy from the film. It is Ultron. He's done in an amazing gunmetal gray, and they, this figure was done better than Iron Man. Just the leg printing alone, if you can see all that detail, but then move up into the torso, and you have those kind of red, I believe, arc reactors or arc reactor-inspired stuff, and then he's got that nice back torso printing right there. That looks super good. He does have some back head printing. It's kind of covered by this feet, uh, piece and some front head piece, uh, printing. Again, the piece right there, I don't know if it's completely accurate. And I think they made him a bit too dark. He's more silver, not gunmetal gray. Like, I don't know. I'd change this into a more silver figure and I'd make a specialized headpiece. But that's just me because, I don't know, it just kind of looks too comical. Especially the head, I think, and the color. It is worth mentioning that these pieces are included for play. Like, you know, Iron Man can fly with these cylinders. Ultron can fly with the red cylinders. And then Super Jumper and some extra kind of... Shots for the Hulkbuster. Boy do, I re uh, boy, do I regret getting this set. Like, come on, it came out in 2015. Like, I don't know. I, the Avengers, like, the MCU became real to me. Like, I really cared about it after Civil War. Civil War is just so good, it got me into the MCU. <sighs> I still like Marvel movies, but for Lego, I was more into Star Wars, which is why I probably didn't get this set when it was on shelves. For $30, you got an amazing build. The build alone, I don't care about the figures, I'd say it's worth $30. But then you get the newest Iron Man, which Mark 43, and then the Hulkbusters Mark 44, and then the new armor, which comes in a little battle pack at Mark 45. Okay, because I'm trying to collect all the Iron Man armors. But anyway, you get that awesome Iron Man, which, you know, everyone always wants Iron Man. He's super popular, and he always wears a new suit, so everyone always wants him. You get Scarlet Witch, the new, like, the new uh, hero that was introduced in that movie. Everyone was super excited for her. You get Ultron, the main villain of that movie, and then you get Hulk a big fake, and all in a $30 set, and if that's not enough, they even add a pretty nice kind of small side build, you know, so that's pretty nice, and um, I did forget to mention though, but there is a um, comic book included, but I'm not really gonna go over it because not a lot of people care all that much, but yeah, this again is just an amazing set. For $30, it was so cool, and again, I'm sad that I miss it trying to get it centered, but, um, yeah, I'm so sad that I miss getting this set back then, and then now, you know, it's kind of like, I guess $60 is a lot for it, but, hey, if you don't have a Hulk, you don't have an Ultron, you don't have a Scarlet Witch, like me, and you don't have the Iron Man Marks 43, I do recommend it, even for that price, but $30 was a steal, I should have gotten more of these. Some places even had it on sale for $23. Like, that just hurts to hear that someone could have gotten this for 20 bucks. But that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon.